All right, welcome back to KM6LYW Radio, show about amateur radio or ham radio, reimagining radio and information age. Hey, we've got a new release of the DigiPi. It's a minor release, but there's some cool stuff in there, some stuff you guys have been asking for. Let's check it out this time on KM6LYW Radio. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Whatever happened to Cheryl Crow? That's the bumper music. Everyone else gets to do bumper music, so I get to do bumper music too. All right, let's check out Digipi 1.9-2. We got some new stuff in there. <laughs> okay, so what is Digipi? So Digipi is an amateur radio data transceiver. It gives you access to every data mode there is, um, and it makes them all available to you via your PC or your tablet or your phone, basically anything with a web browser. It's kind of like turning your amateur radio into a website um, so you can access all of these data modes using nothing more than a web browser. Um, so all of the APRS packet modes, AX.25 networking, WinLink email and client. Of course, it'll do WSJTX, slow scan television, FL Digi. Um, I've implemented something called APRS web chat so you can actually text other radios back and forth. In fact, uh, it's right here, as a matter of fact. APRS web chat, right there. It's, you've got all of your texting capabilities. So these are just some examples. I don't want to rehash the whole thing, but I do want to kind of go over uh, what's new with DigiPi 1.0. Point nine dash two. Uh, the big thing is, I don't know if it's a big thing, but you guys keep asking me for a tracker. You know, I always tell people that APRS isn't about position reporting. It's about texting other radios, right? It's, it's doing, you know, chatting back and forth with other radios. But I, so I put in a tracker here, which will use the GPS on your radio and I'll go ahead and turn it on. You can see it goes into tracker mode and then it will actually send my position if and only if the GPS is locked, which it isn't here on the ICOM 705, but uh, it will it will send your GPS position every five minutes now. So that's a new feature with DigiPi 1.9-2. Um, also, we're implementing new screens. So you notice it has a cool little screen on there. You notice there's no keyboard or monitor for DigiPi, right? It's, it's really simple. It's kind of like an appliance. So we have a couple of different screens. Um, I, this is the, the traditional screen that works with the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 wireless. I really do like this one for, for this. Yeah, and here's an example of the little screen in action. I don't know if I can get that to zoom in or not. But hey, this is a completely portable version with the battery and everything. So yeah, the little screen's cool too. And um, we've also got the ILI 9341 screen. Um, I don't recommend this one as much. Um, actually, where is that one? That's, the <laughs> that's this one. I know they all look the same. Um, this one's kind of lower root resolution. Um, there's kind of there's a lot of glare, and the viewing angles aren't very good on this. But the new screen that we're supporting, which I really like, and that's what you see on the Raspberry Pi 5, is the ILI 9486 screen. We've got one here. You can get it on Amazon. Do get the WaveShare version of this screen, okay? And make sure it's ILI 9486. Uh, the WaveShare, which is what you're seeing on the Pi here, has really good viewing angles. You know, I bought another one that's kind of a generic one. Um, the viewing angles are awful, you know, so if you tilt it, all the colors wash out. So get the WaveShare version. It's $25 for the big screen. So I've really wanted to get the screen working for a long time. Um, so I finally figured out how to do the code chip select on that and get the DigiPi sending to that screen. It's uh, 320 by 480. And in fact, if you don't have a screen, you can just click on the screen link on the DigiPi web management interface and you see what you see on DigiPi. But don't get cheap on me, guys. Get the screen. They're, they're pretty, cool, pretty cool. And a lot of work went into driving that little screen. So I'm really happy with that one. And if you guys are into it, I've been messing around with some themes as well. This isn't in the DigiPi image yet, but uh, this is something we might see in the future is like some cool themes for the DigiPi screen. So when it comes to the screens and you're initializing your DigiPi, click on Initialize. Uh, select your screen right here. This is a new feature here. There's three different types of screens to choose from. And of course, you can set your radio interface uh, here as well. Uh, so the new screens are new. And what else do we got? Uh, I rewrote Dire Watch, which is what's driving the screen here. Um, you notice uh, the icons are a lot sharper now. I'm using high resolution icons. Um, the ball is, actually looks like a ball rather than um, rather than a dot. So high resolution icons, the fonts are a lot better. Uh, everything's just generally easier to read. So a lot of refinements to the Dire Watch software, which is how it gets displayed on that screen. 
Okay, so check it out on digipi.org. That's where you're going to get Digipi 1.9-2. Um, again, this goes to patrons of the channel, and I cannot thank you enough, guys. Um, this has been quite a ride here. Um, <laughs> digipi.org to patrons of KM6LYW Radio. So that's Steve, Andrew, NW2W. That's Mark, Jeremy, BS. Uh, Chris Fu, uh, Paul, Jim, everybody, thank you so much. Um, I don't have enough, like, space to scroll through all of these. Um, this is overwhelming. I, you know, I need, like, a... I keep saying this. I need, like, a scroller, like, for the credits of a movie. I use Linux. So let me know if you find a scroller for this stuff. And I use OBS for the... the the production stuff here so i don't know i need to scroll through these names or some, or something a little less ghetto than a web browser but guys thank you so much for this um all of these folks are using digipi out there in fact i've been looking at aprs.fi and looking at the beacon strings that say digipi in them and there are hundreds and hundreds of digipies worldwide so guys i really appreciate the support patreon.com slash km6lyw